Thank you for watching Munchkin's Reading Corner. Please hit that subscribe button so you never miss another reading adventure. Today we'll be reading The Bernstein Bears Staying Up to Bowling by Mike Bernstein. If you have this book, go and grab it so you can follow along. Everyone in bear country knew Too Tall Grizzly and his gang were bullies, a teasing, taunting, pushing, shoving, heckling, hassling bunch of bullies. But what everyone did not know was that bullies like them could get bullied themselves. It all came when brother and sister and Honey Bear paid a visit to Farmer Ben's farm. The three cubs were on their way to help Miss Ben pick apples for her special apple pie. Nearing the farm's orchard, they heard voices, angry voices. Peeking around the trunk of an apple tree, they saw the two tall gang in the middle of an argument. Get up that tree, scuzz, two tall yelled to one of the gang. Throw down some apples to us. That's in order. But chief, whined the cub they called scuzz. That tree is really high, and I'm not much of a climber. Ha ha, taunted the gang. Scuzz is scared. Scuzz is a chicken. They began to flap their arms and cluck like chickens. Balk, balk, they clucked. Scuzz is a chicken. Scuzz is a chicken. Scuzz was scared, but he didn't want the gang to think he was a chicken. So he gritted his teeth and began to climb. As brother, sister, and honey watched, Scuzz slowly climbed the tree. Shakily, he reached for an apple, but he reached too far and slipped. Oh no, gasped sister. Luckily, Scuzz caught a branch under his knees and dangled upside down. Help, he yelled. Help, but the gang just laughed. Now Scuzz is flying like a bird. They cackled and flapped their arms. Tweet, tweet, they sang. Scuzz is a birdie. Why, those no-good bullies, growled brother, as he began to march out to put a stop to things. That's when Miss Ben appeared. She had been hiding inside the hollow trunk of an old apple tree and jumped out to grab Tootal by the back of the neck. Gotcha, you vermin, she cried. Luckily, I heard you coming into the orchard and hid myself. Let go, said Tootal. We didn't do nothing. What about your friend dangling up there, asked Miss Ben. You call that nothing? Oh, don't worry about Scuzz, said Tootal. He has a thick skull. If he falls, it won't hurt him much. Not as thick as your skull, all warned, snorted Miss Ben. Now you three young scamps skedaddle up that tree and fetch that poor fella down, ordered Miss Ben. They skedaddled. No one crossed Miss Ben when her dander was up. As they helped Scuzz get down, brother and sister and honey joined Mrs. Ben. Well, hello there, cub, said Mrs. Ben. I was expecting you. Did you witness all this commotion? Yes, we did, said sister. I never realized that bullies even bully each other sometimes. Anyone could be the victim of bullying, said Miss Ben, and there hangs a tail, just like this young'un hanging from that apple tree. Did you cubs ever hear the story of Joseph and his brothers? The cubs shook their heads. It's from the Bible, said Miss Ben. Too tall rolled his eyes, but stopped when, when Miss Ben caught him. Long ago in the Holy Land, began Miss Ben, there lived a man named Jacob. Now Jacob had 12 sons, Miss Ben went on, but his favorite was his youngest, Joseph. Jacob gave him a special gift, a coat of many colors. This made the other brothers so jealous they plotted against Joseph. They stole his coat and threw him in a pit. Tis, tis, said Scuzz, his own brothers? The brothers decided to sell Joseph into slavery in the land of Egypt, said Miss Ben. Wow, said too tall and pressed. Harsh. Years later, continued Miss Ben, Joseph gained his freedom and met his brothers once again. At first, he was very angry with him. Well, naturally, says Scuzz. But his brothers were very sorry for what they had done so long ago, said Miss Ben, and Joseph forgave them. They all wept and embraced each other. That's nice, said Scuzz. Now, said Miss Ben, do you young scalawags want to be like the brothers of Joseph? Picking on one of your own and others? No, ma'am, mumbled the gang, embarrassed. Why, your friend here might have been seriously hurt falling out of that tree, exclaimed Miss Ben. Is that what you want? 
Well, no, admitted Too Tall. We won't want Skies to get hurt much. There now, said Miss Ben. Lesson learned. Come along with me and have some of my special apple pie. Oh, boy, cheered the cubs. And, added Miss Ben, we'll have no more of this confounded bullying. Understood? Yes, ma'am, they replied, and they meant it. No one crossed Miss Ben when she was offering her special apple pie. Thank you for reading the Bernstein Bear Standing Up to Bullying with us today on Monk's Reading Corner. Please hit the thumbs up so other viewers can join our adventures. And remember, it's never too early to start reading. See you soon.